Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install 2N IP Solo along with its surface installation backplate. The backplate is used for uneven surfaces or when you need more space for cables between a wall and your Solo intercom. The first step is to mount the backplate to a wall using the two included screws. Then connect a LAN cable to the LAN port on the Solo. Now, let's take a look at the available connectors on the back side of the Solo. Left to right, we have connectors for grounding, external power supply, relay for externally powered locks, output for actively powered locks, and an input that can be used for an exit button or something similar. Then there's the LAN port and a reset button. OK, let's mount these fixtures to the top and the bottom of the Solo. Push them in as firmly as possible. Then you can tighten these three included screws. If desired, you can also install a name tag to the main button like this. Now you can attach the frame. Please note that the top has to go in first. The last step is to tighten the frame screw using the included hex key. So now that you've successfully installed your 2N IP Solo, you can connect it to your PoE switch and wait for it to turn on. After it boots up, you can find out the device's IP address by pressing the main button five times within 30 seconds of boot. Once you know the IP address, you can go into your web browser and enter it there. You can now log in. The default username is admin and password is 2N. After the first successful login, you'll be asked to change your password to something more secure. Then you can start configuring your 2N IP Solo through its web interface. To find out how, visit our other videos or FAQs. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a pleasant experience with 2N products.